Hi, welcome to Checking In at SEA. My name is Perry Cooper. We are in the midst of another Upgrade SEA project. And we're down here where everybody knows about the airport. This is the Airport Expressway. You've been here in the morning probably when it's really packed. You've been here in the evening when it's really packed. So we've got solutions that we're going to tell you about. It's our roadway improvements. I can bring in with me Heather Barnhorst, who is one of our capital program leads. You are the one that knows all about this program. Me, I'm looking at this roadway space and I'm thinking, there's a light rail here. Where are we going to add two more lanes to this? How's this going to work? Uh, that was indeed a challenge for this project. Um, so the secret is, is we're widening to the west or into the space adjacent to the airfield. So if you look over this way, you can see a hillside uh, with a, a fence on top of it. That is our AOA fence. Got we're it. going to be installing a retaining wall at that location. We are then going to move Air Cargo Road adjacent to that retaining wall. We are then going to move departures into the space where Air Cargo Road is today, which then frees up the remaining four lanes, the two lanes for the departures and the two lanes for arrivals, to support our, our widening project. I mean, the bottom line, too, of this, for those people who don't realize, this was designed for an airport that was going to support 25 million passengers back in 1969. Now we're already over twice that, so that's the real need for this, right? That's why we have to have more space. Yes, it's an effort to provide more lane capacity so we can balance our curbside facilities and our entrances into the garage with the lane capacity supporting it. So we're going to try now and jump in a van and check out to see what it looks like as we drive and see if people can get a picture of what's happening. Sounds good. Let's do it. Okay. Heather, we are going southbound on the expressway. Now, we're talking about what this is going to add is dedicated lanes, correct? Yes. How, how will that work? What do you mean by dedicated lanes? Well, as uh, people enter the airport, they come in on the airport expressway, and we've got currently three lanes supporting all the traffic coming in from Highway 518. Um, in the future, those three lanes will become six. So right here at about where the cell phone lot comes around, this is yes. where we're looking at? Yeah, this is the area that we're at right now. Uh, we have uh, the Air Cargo Road on-ramp coming in on our right. That brings us to four lanes today. Um, and then in this area, we're going to be widening and adding two lanes here on our left-hand side. And those two lanes will be dedicated, correct? And dedicated for what? Uh, there will be dedicated access to our ground transportation center as well as to parking. This is where the... Uh, dedicated lanes going to enter is here? Yes, this is our ground transportation center that supports commercial uh, services like courtesy vehicles, taxis, limousines, and uh, shared ride vans. You can see right now we've already started work on the airfield, moving the airfield fence in to support the mobilization of our contractor. They're going to be working in this area adjacent to Air Cargo Road in order to build that retaining wall that I talked about because we have to get that retaining wall in um, and Air Cargo Road shifted over before we can start doing any work here on the terminal roadway system. Okay, and then here you can see off to the right, you've got some uh, an old spur. That's going to be where the new rental car shuttles will be, right? Yes, this is the area that we're going to be relocating the rental car bus stop into, which will free up about 200 feet of uh, curbside for private vehicle pickup. And the idea of being there is then that uh, opens up more space for travelers dropping off and picking up, correct? Yes, for our customers to use uh, the curbside. All right, okay, great. Well, we appreciate the check-in. We're going to have more updates to this project as we continue on. We'll let you know what's going on. Keep an eye on our social media for more information and updates as well, too. And we appreciate you joining us, checking in at SEA. Thanks.